ordinarily, when a court gives judgment, it will order that the losing side pay the costs of the winning side. This is not an absolute rule, but it's close enough. Consequently, as soon as the main trial is over, parties often have a secondary dispute over the amount of costs that should be paid. Cost assessors are appointed under the Uniform Civil Procedure Rules to determine the proper costs to be paid by the unsuccessful party. In Queensland, cost assessors must have practised as lawyers for five years in order to be appointed. Michael Graham was appointed as a cost assessor in Queensland and he was engaged to undertake cost assessment on behalf of a successful party after a Supreme Court order. He gave an estimate that it would take about 10 to 12 weeks to complete the work and he asked for $28,600 to be placed in trust for his fees. The work was not completed within 10 to 12 weeks. Indeed, 10 months later, the work was still not complete when the client ran out of patience and sacked Mr Graham, who then refused to return his fees from the trust account. The client was forced to sue for the return of those fees. Once the fees had been repaid, the Legal Services Commission stepped in and took professional action against Mr Graham. There were already authorities which showed that extensive delays in attending to a client matter could constitute professional misconduct. However, in those cases, the delays had been two and in one case five years. The tribunal found that the delays caused by Mr Graham did not rise to the same level as those earlier precedents, but they still required sanction. The tribunal said that the delay caused the solicitor's client inconvenience and distress and compelled them ultimately to commence and prosecute further litigation against Mr Graham. They went on to conclude that those events are disturbing and inexcusable and constitute conduct which falls short of the standard of competence and diligence that a member of the public is entitled to expect of a reasonably competent Australian legal practitioner. As a result, Mr Graham was found to have engaged in unsatisfactory professional conduct and was reprimanded and fined. From this case, we learn that unexplained delays in advancing client proceedings can constitute either professional misconduct or unsatisfactory professional conduct, depending on the whole of the circumstances. Mm-hmm.